everyone. Welcome back to Eating with the Alexanders. I'm Kel. I'm CJ. And today we have Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. So you guys, it's been a minute since we've had something other than seafood. See, <laughs> yeah. That's our favorite, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have some Chick-fil-A today. You want to pray? Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you. Thank you for today. And um, bless this food. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 You guys, I'm sorry if y'all noticed, I have like one eye that's red. I don't know if it's allergy eyes or what, but I woke up with it like that. I have no signs of pink eye, no irritation or anything. It's just one pink eye, one reddish color. I don't even know. No type of infection. I don't know what's going on. But y'all, we've missed y'all. Yeah, for real. It seemed like forever. It has been forever. Uh, yeah. I wanted to do a video, but... CJ still wasn't feeling well, so I understood. Yeah, I'm still recovering. As you guys know, well, if you follow the other channel, we're recovering from what we believe was coronavirus. Yeah. We didn't go get tested but because it every, was just... Yeah, but like you said, everyone we know and known to have it had pretty much all the symptoms we had. I mean, we're home. So some people were like, oh, would have been responsible to go get tested. But we were home. So it's like... We had notified everybody that we had already been around, but like we weren't just everywhere like socializing with a bunch of people. We had a select few people that we hang around. Right. We let them know, which nobody else got it. Um, and once I started having symptoms, I just immediately like quarantined myself. And yeah, it was crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't uh, too severe for us though. And I'll tell you guys how I think I got it. Yeah, you know I got y'all know got my lemonade. That Walmart lemonade, best lemonade. It's no, sweet. it's not. Is it? I mean, it's not Kings. It's not. It's not Kings, but it's Kings. Then it's this lemonade for me. Stop it. For real. For real. Mm -mm. Name one better besides so Kings. Chick Fil A. Would be good, but I don't know. I prefer Walmart one. To be mm -hmm. honest. But yeah, guys, like <clears throat> it was pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you fine? Like I'm saying, like. That one, I had one real bad day, like with the body aches and like pretty much had the whole, I had a headache where my whole right side of my face. No, well, let's start from the top. Okay, let's, let's start from the top. Let me, let me tell you guys how it happened. Let's start from the top. So like, I have a cousin who's a nurse, right? And she called me one day and she was like, um, I was talking to one of my aunts who we believe, we're pretty much, we're pretty certain that she had it back in December. Mm -hmm. She's elderly. And she was in the hospital for like two weeks straight. Actually, a little bit more than two weeks. I kid yeah. you not. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty bad. I mean, she was on oxygen and everything. She had this mysterious respiratory illness. Um, didn't know what it was. Didn't know what it was. And they thought it was pneumonia, but then it wasn't. She was on antibiotics. She was on everything. Yeah. yeah, but she tested negative for everything. But um, all in all, she recovered. Thank God she's still here with us. She's in her 70s. Um... But during that time, my cousin had gotten sick, and then she caught it from my little cousin, who was living with her at the time. And they went to Georgia for the holidays, and then some of my cousins caught it, and they described it as, like, worst, like, the worst flu ever, but it wasn't the flu. They, they all tested negative. Now, this was back in December, right? So, fast forward to, like, a few months ago, about two months ago, I had a cousin who called, and um, she's a nurse. She works the COVID unit. And she was like, um, I heard you telling my mom about some supplements that you take, you know, that you've heard can help with COVID. And I was like, yeah. She was like, girl, I can't taste my, uh, I think she was drinking iced tea. She was like, I can't taste my drink. I can't taste my food. I was like, oh. I said, well, good, yeah. I said, come over. I'll put together a little goodie bag for you. So what I put together was um, zinc, vitamin C, quinine capsules. Now you can do either the quinine, look, I'm not giving you guys medical advice, this is just what I read helped. Mm -hmm. So like, from what I read, quinine and zinc work together to help minimize the symptoms. Right. They said that quinine acts similar to hydrochloroquine and quinine is also used to treat malaria in India. So quinine can be found in tonic water. Um, and tonic water is like found at like many grocery stores near the alcohol, you know, gin and tonic, right? Well, tonic water has quinine in it, so you can drink tonic water, you can get quinine capsules, you can get quinine drops, and you can find it on Amazon. So I had quinine capsules, and I had tonic water at the time. I gave her both. Um, I gave her vitamin C, told her to take about 500 milligrams a day. I gave her um, zinc capsules, told her to take anywhere from like 
50 to 200 milligrams max daily for 14 days. Zinc, you don't want to take it for too long for an extended period of time. Not too much. No, I'm good. Thank you. You don't want to take too much for an extended period of time. So, like, after 14 days, you, if you're going to take it, I mean, I told her just go back down to her 50 days. I mean, 50 milligrams a day. Excuse me. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I did go to nursing school, but I did not finish. I was a pharmacy tech. No longer do that. But I'm still not giving you guys medical advice. I'm telling you what me and my family did and what worked for what? us. If you guys so, are interested, like, everything she's saying, we're going to put it. I'll put it in, in the link below. Yeah, I'll put it in the description. Um, yeah. Yeah, the link in the description box below. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we did that for my cousin. I called her two days later, and she said she was feeling better already. Like, she was totally fine, right? So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, about a week later, I started having symptoms, and I thought it was, like, sinus infection symptoms. Mm -hmm. And I literally had, it started off with a really bad headache and I think a scratchy throat. Mm -hmm. But I had just had really bad news like the Tuesday. It was like, if it was probably, it was July 28th. I had really, um, Disturbing was it July? News. Yeah, so, yeah. No. No. It wasn't the 28th. I don't have my phone with me. Yeah, me it wasn't the 28th because it made two weeks on like the third, I want to say. I don't know. It made two weeks the first week of August for me. Well, it was really disturbing news. So, so I had I disturbing out, news, and I thought I was really stressed out. And it was like something about a relative, you know. Mm -hmm. I thought I, I thought that's why I was really stressed out because I I got the headache immediately after the news. So I didn't think anything of it. Mm -hmm. And then the next day went by. I remember the next day was a Wednesday, and then the Thursday I got more bad news. Not more bad. It was just on top of that news, mm -hmm. and I developed like this. The headache was just on one side of my face, on my left side. So I had a headache. I had sinus, what I thought was sinus pressure. I had an earache, yeah, and then I bad. had a bad sore throat. And it was just all on this side. And I was like, "Ooh, I better calm down. Like, I'm having pressure and pain on one side of my face, and it's the left side of my face. So I'm like, what the heck? So I was like, let me chill out. Well, Friday comes, and I'm like, man, we have friends who are supposed to come over on Saturday. I don't know what this is, but my allergy medicines and my sinus medicines are not helping. I haven't had a sinus infection in years. Oh, since, I can't remember the last time you had one. Well, since I gave up dairy milk, I haven't had any more sinus infections. So I was like, I used to get a sinus infection twice a year, y'all. Fun fact, like at the start of um, spring and the start of fall. So we switched to almond milk. So we switched to almond milk because it. obviously our allergies do not like milk. We have a milk sensitivity. But um, yeah, so I'm not gonna eat if I keep talking. Um, <laughs> no, I'm um, I think the Friday was when I was finally like, let me tell you something. So, no, Friday. Because of it, but granted, before this time happened, she been stocking up. You know, of course, the kids take their vitamins and vitamin mm -hmm. C. But she been buying and kind of just stack, stacking up because mm -hmm. you like for friends, family, anybody, or even someone she might see that she might know or mm -hmm. somebody else know. She's like, hey, it's worth a try. So we've been stocked up. She's been stocked up. On and I've given it to several people and mm -hmm. they recovered like quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Same combination. Yep. But they would take it immediately. So, like in her bag, it was quinine. But she would take like maybe a capsule a day. If she took the tonic water, she would drink at least like four ounces. Um, she would take between 50 and 200 milligrams of zinc a day. And she would take 500 milligrams of vitamin C. I also gave her these manglier leaves. Manglier, we call it manglier. It grows mm -hmm. on these bushes in Louisiana and possibly in other states too, but it's a known fever reducer. It's a mm -hmm. natural supplement. We get people who we know has it in their yard to like pick some for us and like we keep it oh, yeah. and like we boil it with lemon yeah, yeah. and it's disgusting. <laughs> and it's lemon gross. and honey, but it's still disgusting. I don't care how much honey you put in there, it's nasty. It's very bitter, but like it helps, y'all. It really helps. So I gave her that. I gave her a lemon. I gave her some green tea. And I think that was pretty much all that was in her bag. I gave her, I offered her vitamin D because vitamin D is really good, you know, for boosting your immune system. But um, she already had that. So yeah, that was that. So okay, back to what I was saying. Friday. So symptoms started on Tuesday, possibly even before then. Because I think all the while I was thinking it was allergies. But I really noticed it that Tuesday. Um... The Friday, I was like, well, let me try to take some of these supplements and see if I feel better. Y'all, I started to feel better. 
I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's my imagination. Right. I don't have the Rona. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's my imagination. Wake up Saturday, I'm still not feeling good. And I'm like, uh, I need to tell my friends because they have two kids and they both have asthma. Right. So we told our friends, you guys don't come over. We were, we were oh man, we were planning to cook it up too. Oh, yeah, we, we were really going to cook because they love like when I cook stews or gumbos and like potato salad and stuff like that. And I was going to make some cookies. Day. Because y'all know, like, I have a baking business, but I haven't been baking lately. <laughs> but I was going to bake some cookies. They love the cookies. I actually got the original recipe from that friend, but I tweaked it, and it became my own. But um, she don't even want to bake hers. She, like, hers are good, too. Still good. But, like, she wants me to bake them now. I'm like, I'm down. I'm cool with that. Um, but I always give her her props because she had the original recipe. She did. Yep. But anyway, um, so we told them. Oh, God, the kids. Pause. All right, they're fine. So, um, we told him not to come over, and we were sad. CJ was literally pouting. No. <laughs> you lying. You lying. I want to hang out, though. He's going to miss my friends. I'm like, I well, would. would you rather them be healthy or possibly? Because I didn't know what I had, but I was starting to get a feeling that it wasn't just allergies and sinuses. Now, they health over, health over everything, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is so good. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Best fast food mac and cheese. Well, what ball? Best fast food. <laughs> 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 you said that so fast and bad. Best fast food mac and cheese. Gotcha. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah. So yeah, I just. So I started taking the supplements probably more regularly on the regularly. I can't talk. I started well, taking. How many days it was after you really was Tuesday, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So on Saturday, on the fifth day, mm -hmm. I finally started being serious and taking the supplements. <laughs> like it's not just the normal allergy. I knew it wasn't right? by then. And then, let's see. I want to say the Sunday. The Sunday I really started to feel bad. Like I remember getting like TMI. But, um, <laughs> we eating. Um, you don't know what to call it? Because <laughs> the, um, the bubble guts. The bubble guts. It, we'll, you can go from it. You can figure out. Yeah. The bubble, gut, <laughs> the bubble guts. And, uh, yeah. So then I had sore throat, horrible headache, the bubble guts. Um, and it's like every day I knew something would appear. And then I remember like the next day just getting real hot. And it was like, but I had no temperature, like no high fever, no fever at all, really, on the out, like up, showing up on the thermometer. But I felt really hot. And CJ's a polar bear at night. Like, oh, okay, I'm cool with keeping it at 66 when we go to sleep. This dude sometimes will have it at like 64. And I was hot. I was hot. And, um, yeah. I just remember drinking the Mongolay, the, the tea that I talk about, that um, is a fever reducer. And y'all, like, I was sweating while drinking it. I went to sleep. I'd wake up drenched in sweat for, like, a few nights. Um, what else? Um, How many days it took for your own? Like, you know, the whole pain from the headache in your left side hurt. I don't know. I forgot. A couple of days, huh? But every time I drink a tonic water, it would, come it would help. Help, help. Nothing else. No Tylenol. Nothing else helped that headache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You didn't think, yeah. We didn't, mm -hmm. have, we didn't have Tylenol to wait later. Mm -hmm. I got it for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, And yeah. then I forgot how many days after that, I woke up and I started having symptoms. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, man. And I had, like, some of the same. Like I said, except for she had all her left side. It was like It was right, his right side. All all this. Like, yeah. It was just hurting. And like all day for a day and a half about. It was like, man. It was almost like migraine. Couldn't take the lights. It was just, man. Then I had body aches. I didn't have the body aches. He had, had the body aches. I had body aches and just feel the you sluggish. You had weakness. weakness oh, just I did have fatigue. I would sleep all day. So I had fatigue. Diarrhea. Um, <laughs> sore throat, headache. Like. Stomach ache, um, hot, waking up sweating. Loss and, of appetite? Uh, I didn't have a loss of appetite. That's a little, mm -hmm. I'm, I gained weight during this. I didn't, my appetite did not change <laughs> at all. I've been bored, like eating out of boredom. I've gained two additional pounds, like I need that. And we were working out prior to getting sick, man. We were mm -hmm. trying to get our life back on track. So we need to start again. But um, 
Yeah, those are my symptoms. So then you had your symptoms, and then the kids got sick. Like, I think Xavier got sick first. Like what? Uh, he three, had a three, headache. Three, four days after me. Maybe two, day, two, two days. Two days, days after him. So Xavier had a headache. He had a mm -hmm. fever of one hundred point seven, and sore throat. And he said his stomach was bothering him. And Zayden had the headache, the sore throat, and stomach ache. But it was very mild for them. And even for us, like I felt like it was pretty mild for us. Um. I had a cousin who was like, man, y'all good? Like, y'all need anything? You know, like, she was going to help us out with whatever we needed. We knew we could have called the doctor. But, like, honestly, I just, I'm not telling y'all what to do. Please don't take this as me to giving y'all advice. But I do have a medical background, so I know what to look for. So I just kind of assessed my family and did what I felt was best for my family. We didn't see the need to go in because nobody was really going out of the house on a daily basis to do things. Like, we could quarantine ourselves. So, we knew the symptoms and we knew that like we knew that people we had who had it who had more like the more more than just like the i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say we i assessed my family and i basically felt like all right i'm pretty certain we have it my cousin who works the COVID unit it was like y'all definitely have it one of my friends who works the COVID unit in another state was like y'all definitely have it i knew it from what i read so, um, yeah, y'all, and like when I tell you I had symptoms even past those 14 days, I still had symptoms. It was crazy. Like, I still had a headache, like, recently. So, we don't really go anywhere because I wanted to make sure that everybody is feeling fine. If we go somewhere, it's like drive through and we'll literally, like, spray our debit card. Now, today made um, 14 days for the kids, and they were the last to have symptoms. So, they're in the back seat. He and I are symptom-free. We'll go, like, you know, do grocery pickup and stuff. If we use our card, we'll spray down our card mm -hmm. um, and wipe it down before we give it, before we hand it to anybody. But we yeah, don't go anywhere. Grocery pickup, that, that's yeah. clutch. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. The grocery pickup. Like, for Brielle's cake, we paid on, um, we paid through Cash App. And we went to pick it up. We told the person that, you know, hey, we're still, some of our family still having symptoms. And she put the cake out on her table as we drove up. We called and we picked it up that way. Everything's been contactless. <laughs> Even like the macarons for Brielle's. I don't know if you guys have seen Brielle's birthday video. We told them, like, we were like, look. And they're like, it's okay, we have masks. I'm like, oh, no, ma'am, just look. I don't want you to get sick. I just put it on the, the hood of the car. Like, we will not be offended. So she was like, okay. And y'all, they were so sweet. Like, they mm -hmm. even gave us extra. And a little note, and a little saying, note get saying, get well, we hope you recover. They were so sweet. Yeah. But um, I feel like that combination really helped us. And we also wanted to prevent inflammation because I didn't want to have what's called a cytokine storm where your body freaks out and produces more cytokines and it starts to like attack the body. You know, your body starts to attack itself because it's like you're having an immune an immune response doing to like this virus, this foreign virus in your body doing crazy things. So we started taking black seed oil too because it's known to like reduce inflammation. So all in all, we took those supplements and we got better. That's what helped us. Vitamin yep. C, D, zinc, zinc, quinine. We ended up getting the quinine drops for our kids. Yeah. And we put a little bit of that in their drinks. We got the zinc drops for our kids. We put a little bit of that in their drinks. And we give them vitamin C chewables, all of them. Yeah. And that helps. For we wouldn't give them the full amount because for kids, I think they need between like two and three milligrams. So it would be like maybe, excuse me, like maybe a few drops, like maybe three drops each. It really did help. Real, maybe I'm like one, two drops. Like she's not, not, not even exaggerating. Like I had, like when I had that bad headache, the only thing that did help when I drank the um, tonic water with the quinine, mm -hmm. it would just like I said, you're not supposed to take ibuprofen, right? We had ibuprofen on that. That's what we they keep said. That. We keep, we keep that, but I don't know. Excuse me. I read different things, but from what I've read, they say you're not supposed to take ibuprofen. And says like you know non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Like naproxen, ibuprofen, and stuff like that. But I don't know, but there are so many different things that are being said now. But like I said, the quinine, once I drink, you know, as long as I was drinking a tonic water, it would kind of help it, you yeah. know, not be as so, I mean, I feel like my, everything about to come out of my skull. Like, it was crazy. Like, it was a lot. It just, that, was, that was my worst day, I think it was. Like I said, we take black seed oil to boost our immunity and our immune system, I mean, and also um, to prevent inflammation. Because it's known to reduce inflammation. <coughs> we, also kept, huh? we also kept Gatorade on deck. Yeah. Because you Dehydrate. want to prevent dehydration. 
and we drink lots of warm liquids so like mm. lemon water and honey and um, turmeric ginger that kind of stuff yeah but we recovered go. we recovered didn't have to take any um antibiotics really we had someone standby just in case oh, I'm yeah. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah just in case just in case you because feel. a lot of people well like i started i remember even after my 14 days i'd take a deep breath and i'd feel like something in my lungs like it didn't feel like it would nothing was in there because when i cough it was clear but i feel like this pressure so um yeah we had some antibiotics called in on standby and um i never needed to take it i didn't have to take it but i started i was i was watching this youtube video about these breathing exercises for people who have COVID because you want to keep your lungs clear. So basically what you, what you do is you take a deep breath, like hold it for five seconds and then you do it five times. Take another deep breath, hold it for five seconds because you want to keep your lungs as clear as possible because you don't want the mucus to set in there and get infection. That's how pneumonia usually sets in and starts and all that. So then after you've done it five times, you, you let out a really big cough. You cough a few times, make sure it's all clear but yeah that's what we did and we recovered yeah, so man. i pray that none of you guys get it it yeah, wasn't horrible funny. for us it wasn't pleasant mm -hmm. is i mean we're bored over here but we're gonna stay here until everybody's symptom free we'll right. go out for rides get some fresh air but we won't go into like a store or anything like that mm -hmm. until everybody is totally symptom free but we are all out of our 14 days unfortunately since i was the first one with the supplements it's been like 28 <laughs> days for me but um yeah, actually more than 28 days. Because it wasn't the 28th that I got sick. I think the 28th made like a week. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, you guys, that is our COVID story. Yeah, but we, we're definitely doing better, guys. We are fine. Everybody who was like, hey, thank glad you. to hear it. We, we appreciate y'all. We Yeah, we really do. And thank you guys for the sweet words on uh, Brielle's birthday video. We weren't feeling good that day, but we got through it. And yeah. it worked out. Um, she had a blast, as you guys saw. Mm-hmm. The cleanup was real. My you God. only could imagine. <laughs> she had more kick on the floor than on her, uh, her tree, but mm -hmm. um, she really enjoyed it, though. She, her gifts came in. Mm -hmm. Perfect came in on Amazon later, a little later. Mm -hmm. That day, so she played with that for the rest of the night. She has more gifts coming in. And she got money. Mm -hmm. She has another gift coming in. Oh, she got a um, gift card from your aunt. Mm -hmm. She has another gift coming in from my cousin tomorrow. Mm-hmm. From Wendy. Wendy. Um yeah, yeah so she, she is spoiled <laughs> and loved and blessed. All oh, of them are. Oh yeah. So yeah, I didn't cry. <laughs> I was waiting to see. I did not Every cry. Every kid when they turn one, she cried. You know why I didn't? Because I'm done. And I feel like maybe God <laughs> maybe God felt sorry for me because I was crying, especially for Xavier, because I was like, This is my last baby. Yo, I cried. I boohooed when Xavier turned one. Yep. I was like, I'm not crying this time because I don't want to have no more. <laughs> I'm so looking at her, she's like, oh, my baby. I'm looking, she's like, mm -mm. You didn't see, but I did tear up while editing. Oh, while editing? Yes, that was, I was doing something okay, else let's be real. Like, that was very, oh, yeah. with the music and everything, when I rewatched it. Like, when we put it, it together, yeah. Because we, as a matter of fact, oh. she loves her own video. She loves like, her own video. Like, we put it on and she be laughing. And, and we had the sweetest moment like the other night like she sat there and I was showing her a video and I was like that's you baby and she looked at me and she smiled. Yo my eye. She got my it. eyes are water. <laughs> my baby. My little baby. She, look I'm not going to lie though. She's going through a little stage since she turned one. Yeah. I don't know what's going on lately. What? She's been grumpy. I think oh, she's getting man. more teeth. She's been grumpy these last few days. My I God. Mean, <laughs> and fighting too just. Feisty. She be feisty. Real. But she's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. But when she's teething, that's a different baby. Oh yeah. But yeah, if y'all hadn't checked it out, it's definitely our last latest video. I'll probably leave a a, a card link to it or it's the it's the video of being one before this one. Mm hmm Check it out for his birthday. That little cake smash. It came and out again. nice one. It came out like I said, rewatching it, I was like, wow, like to say, you know, we quarantined and, and we weren't feeling the best. Was we feeling the best. Mm -hmm. It came out great. Like it came out great. Mm -hmm. She'll be able to look back and, and smile and laugh at that for a while. Mm -hmm. Her brothers too. They they love being in the video. I definitely teared up. But I didn't see. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't let you I blink those tears away. You went about to clown me. <laughs> oh, girl. 
So yeah, you guys, that is our how we survived coronavirus story and um, Braille's birthday. Yeah. So I don't really have anything else to say. You have no, something else to talk about? No, we just we we'll just kind of update, we update just everybody. To update you guys, yeah, we yeah, truly you know appreciate y'all. Yeah. And for all the new subscribers, hey y'all. Yeah. A lot of people were saying they didn't even know. Yeah. We had another channel. I guess I guess maybe we should advertise it more on the other channel. Um, but we don't really do it too often. So yeah, we got to know. We need to do that more. But yeah, you guys, if you are interested in those products, we'll put it in the description box below. Mm -hmm. You guys don't feel pressured in buying that brand if you don't want to buy that brand. If you want to go into your local stores, I don't care as long as you guys stay healthy. Yeah, That's definitely. what worked for us. Okay. Um definitely look up the ingredients make sure you don't have any drug interactions with anything that you may be taking as far as i know i don't think there's anything too much that it interacts with but you might want to look up quinine and make sure it doesn't interact with any drugs that you may be taking if that's what you're gonna try but like i said again i am not a medical professional i do have some medical training but i'm not prescribing anything i'm telling you it worked for us so with that being said thank you guys so, so much, much for you. watching we truly truly appreciate y'all again and I hope that you guys stay well and stay blessed. Oh, we didn't talk about school. Oh, yeah. You know school. what? In our next video, because we're going to be filming again this yeah, week, we'll tell you what's going on with our kids in school. Yeah, in school. So, yeah. This is interesting. So, yeah. Be tuned Definitely. in for next time. <laughs> y'all, we're back. We're back. We totally forgot to tell y'all how we think we got it. So, like I said, <clears throat> we don't really go many places, right? Um... Other than to the grocery store, stuff like that. We could have easily gotten it from there, but who knows, you know. But um, the way I think I got it was, like I got, like I told you guys, excuse me. I have an aunt who's elderly, who we believe have, had it in December. So we went to visit her. So her daughter is a nurse who had it. And I gave her the supplies. But it was like from a distance. So like about three weeks passed. I never had any symptoms after seeing her daughter. But like I said, I handed it to her in her car, ran back upstairs, went wash my hands and everything. Like I never really came in contact mm -hmm. with, um, I didn't really come in contact with her. It was just kind of like a drive by, here you go, that type of situation. So um, I went to her mom's house. Now she was around her mom before she realized she tested positive. The, the cousin who I told you was a nurse, who was like, hey, I can't taste my food and all that stuff, right? And then I gave her the supplements. And like I said, she was better within two days. And I think it's because she started taking the supplements early, mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. So she was around her mom. And as you know, you can have the, you can get symptoms like weeks later. So we hadn't been to her mom's house in a while. And she had tested, it probably was like three, almost four weeks since my cousin had tested positive, but I know during that time she was at her mom's house. So anyway, we were thinking everything is good. We hadn't heard that my aunt wasn't feeling well or anything like that. So we go to visit and she's like, yeah, you know, my aunt, right? She's like, I think I have a head cold. And I was like, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> but like, I'm not faulting her at all. Like, no, y'all, she's yeah. elderly and like sometimes she'll like forget certain things. We, like, hadn't I mean, saw her in a while. we hadn't seen her in a while. We really missed her. It just was what it was. Like, I'm not blaming her at all. Things happen. Really? I don't think she thought it was really anything. She really, truly thought it was a cold because she had it back in the day. They just Maybe didn't know what it was back then. And like I said, hospitalized for like two plus weeks. And she, um, so when she had those symptoms, she really didn't think it was anything. The symptoms that she recently had because, you know, she had it and she knew how sick she really was mm -hmm. back then. So I didn't think anything of it too much, but then like a week, I think I did, maybe I did say it, like a week or so later, we ended up getting the symptoms. And then I was like, oh, maybe it wasn't a cold that she had. I'm thinking that she was a carrier and she did show some symptoms, but not as severe because she may have already built up antibodies since she already had it. Mm -hmm. And my cousin who was there still, she at one point, I think didn't feel well. I think my mom mentioned, oh, that she wasn't feeling well. But again, she had it before too, so maybe didn't really show any major symptoms. So yeah, you guys, I'm a firm believer. I know they say that the antibodies don't stick, but I don't know how I feel about that because I believe that we possibly got it from my aunt. Mm -hmm. And because she had built up antibodies from already having it, it just wasn't as severe for her anymore. So yeah, yeah. that's my theory. Could, but again, could have gotten it from the grocery store. We go every now and then. Who knows? But that's how we think we got it. So again, if you guys are interested in those supplements, feel free to. We're going to write it down. We're going to put it in the description box if you want to go in and order. If you don't want to order it from there, go to your local health food store. I'm sure they'll have it there. Just so, stay safe. Just stay safe. Stay safe. Wash stay your hands. Blessed. Be healthy. Yeah. We love you guys. And we hope yeah. that you all stay well. 
Until next time. Bye. Bye.